guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be about my August favorites. Now, I only have a handful of favorites, so this video is gonna be pretty short, pretty quick to the point, and uh, without further ado, let's hop into the video. thank my dear friend Brie Kish. If you don't know who she is, I'll leave her link down below, but she posted a video of all of her lipsticks. She had recommended this Siren in Scarlet. I've always been in the market for a drugstore red lipstick that will stay put and won't budge. These lipsticks, they're by Maybelline and they are the matte collection. I think that's what they're called, but they are absolutely amazing. They last for such a long period of time, longer than some of my high-end lipsticks, and it, they're just beautiful. So I have three of them and I'll show you each of the shades. First, we're gonna talk about the one that I have on my lips. It's kind of that uh, Kylie Jenner lipstick, but it is in 656 Clay Crush, and there is the shade right there. I think this could be a dupe for Velvet Teddy. It's absolutely beautiful and it does last for a very long period of time. The nice thing about the darker shades, I'm not 100% sure about this, but for the darker shades, if you eat, it still stays put, which is wonderful. The next shade I have, which is the one that she recommended, is the 690 Siren in Scarlet. As you can see there, and why I say more of like a pink undertone, but it is beautiful on. It's that beautiful aerial kind of lipstick. And the last one I have is in 695 Divine Wine. And this is just a beautiful deep red vampy shade. This is what I use for when I portray Snow White for birthday parties. This is going to be perfect for the fall. This is something that I'm definitely, definitely going to be using in one of my next fall tutorials. Moving on to concealer, I'm not 100% sure if I mentioned this or not in my previous videos, but this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin 3-in-1 Concealer for Eyes. It has three different benefits. One, it's a concealer. Two, it's an eye cream. And three, it has sun protection because it has an SPF of 20. I put it just right here, right where I get my dark circles. But what it does is just kind of brightens that area and gives a lot of moisture because this is my driest spot under my eyes. And so it just gives me that moisture right underneath there. I don't have to set it which is great and just wonderful. For all of you girls who deal with dry under eyes, I would definitely recommend getting that Neutrogena concealer. The last makeup product that I am in love with is this Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer in Turks Caicos. It is beautiful, but one of my favorite things about this is the bronzer. I'm not a big fan of this blush. It's just not the best shade for me. It's just a little too cool for my taste, but this bronzer, OM. G. I use this as a topper. So what I do is I use an e.l.f. stippling brush and I just top it right on my cheekbones at like the highest point of my cheekbones and it just gives you this beautiful, beautiful bronzy glow. Just so you can see right there. This was only, I want to say, three to five dollars and you can get it at any CVS now, but you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at various other drugstores, but this is beautiful. Now I understand the hype of these e.l.f. bronzing palettes because this is just beautiful so affordable, it lasts for such a long period of time, and you can't go wrong with drugstore items like this. For hair, um, as you can kind of see in my video today, my hair has finally gone back to its curly state. It's been a really long time since I've been able to wear my hair curly. It just hasn't been working with me since I did bleach my hair, but now it's gone back to its curly state, and right now it's really curly. This is the curliest it's ever been in a very long period of time. I can definitely show you what products I use in my hair. I don't really use anything to make it curly because I do have naturally curly hair, but I can show you a video as to what I use to kind of prep my hair for whatever hairstyle I'm doing, whether it's a natural hairstyle, whether it's me doing a straightening style, or if I am actually curling my hair with a curling iron. Favorite YouTuber of the month has got to be Thingamavlogs. If you're a Disney lover and you have not heard of Thingamavlogs, I would definitely, definitely check them out. They give so many fascinating facts. This past week has definitely been my favorite. They've talked about the Disney legends. They even interviewed the man who is the voice of Goofy. I am just blown away by the passion that they have towards Disney and the quality of the videos that they each put out. They put out at least five, I think it's like four to five videos a week and it's themed every week and it's just wonderful. They give you so much information that I'd never known about Disneyland. So for all of you Disney nerds out there who are completely obsessed like I am, definitely go check out Thingamavlogs. You won't regret it. Favorite moments of August. My three favorite moments in no particular order would have to be number one, 
my Disney day with Josh and Juno. It was so much fun to bring Juno along with us to Disneyland. And if you haven't checked out that vlog, I will leave a link down below for those of you who are watching this on your phone and also a link right here for those of you who are watching this on your computer. But we just had so much fun. It has been a really long time since Josh and I had been to the parks and so to be able to go together, we just had an overall blast. The second one kind of happened while I was at Disneyland with Josh, but I found out that I'm going to be a mermaid for Halloween uh, for SeaWorld Spooktacular here in San Diego. I'm so excited. Two years ago, I was a parrotfish. It was fun, but this is gonna be even more exciting. I'm so excited to have a fin. It's gonna kind of look like this. Clearly that is not me, but it's gonna look similar to that. And I'm just, I'm so excited. And one of my friends who is also so the Pets Rule host like I am, uh, we're the only two girls in that show at the moment. We both get to be sister mermaids, so it's gonna be so much fun. So if you are in the area and would like to come visit Capri the Mermaid, she will be at SeaWorld weekends starting September 26th and ending November 1st. So definitely go check us out. And my last favorite moment would have to be babysitting <laughs> six of my cousins. There was seven at a time. I did bring seven of them over, but my cousin Samuel did not spend the night. I watched it for about 28 hours. We spent the night together. We made a music video, which I will insert right here. Nobody, nobody, I know. It's one of my favorite songs, but the most amazing thing was I posted that on Instagram and she liked and commented on that video. And she is such a huge inspiration to me as far as Christian music is concerned. So to see someone who I really look up to comment saying how wonderful this was, it was just an overall wonderful experience. And I shared it with the kids and they thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I'm just, it was just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time that I had with those kids. It was tiring, definitely but I would definitely do it again in a heartbeat. With that, I did record the Lay's challenge, which I might post. It's a little all over the place. I mean, I did watch Seven Kids. Uh, if that's something that you would find interesting, let me know in the comments down below because I might post that here or I might just go ahead and post that on my vlog channel. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a vlog channel now. It is called Snapbacks and Mickey Ears. Josh and I decided to do a vlog channel, mostly Disney related but we will be doing vlogmas and I might also vlog throughout the month of October because that is my birthday month. So definitely check us out there. Like I said, I'll leave all links down below and I'll also leave a link right here so you can go check that out as well. But yeah, that's it for the video today. I know it's pretty short, pretty sweet, pretty simple to the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Also, let me know in the comments down below what have been some of your favorite moments in August. I know I always ask what's your favorite products, but I wanna know what are some of your favorite moments this month. So let me know in the comments down below as I'd love to know what made you happy this month. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you have any suggestions as to what you would want for videos, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please, please, please subscribe. And until next time, have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.